Hey guys, Toes and stuff here. So I'm back with this uh, large scale mini toilet. I'm going to be going over the specs, specifications, and all that stuff for it and comparing it to the original design that I based it off of. Um, so here's the original design. It, this toilet is a wash down siphonic with front flushing technology, um, which is what this toilet is supposed to be. But there was a few uh, major issues with it. Number one, as you can see in this illustration, the base is actually underneath the bowl. If you look at the actual toilet, I'm kind of surprised it didn't just die because there's absolutely nothing supporting this part of the... There's supposed to be this much more base in front of the toilet, like maybe four inches. There's nothing supporting it, so I'm kind of surprised it didn't collapse. And also, this is supposed to be a recessed tank toilet, meaning that the tank actually sits lower than the actual rim does. So, um, what happened was I had that design still in there, but I thought that because I was using a tank and I would sit on top of it. If I did that, uh, it would cause problems. So uh, I decided to make it flat so I could actually flush it. But um, as you can see, there's literally no space to let water through, which is why I had a really hard time getting this toilet to flush correctly because when I set the tank on top of it, it would just smash this down and no water would get through. So um, this is also supposed to be a low-flow toilet. It did not end up being that way because of that, because that was not letting any water through hardly at all. Letting enough, and that one test where I improved it, I actually had to lift that up to get it to flush better. So that was the major problem. Um, other than that, the trap turned out, I haven't cut it open yet, but uh, it turned out pretty similar to this. Uh, the only thing is, I actually, when I originally made it, I had the horn too far back, so it was basically a blowout trap. So it didn't have hardly any siphonic quality to it, and it was really difficult to make it siphon. And uh, when I said it was bigger than the standard cadet, I wasn't lying. Um, so let me get out my tape measure. So the standard cadet, which is right here, is um, 15 inches tall. And this is, it sagged a lot. It's 16 inches tall. The front of the bowl is like, it's, it's sagging so bad, it's literally... 13 and a half inches and it's uh, 17. The whole toilet's supposed to be 17. But it's bigger. Uh, the base isn't as big as the standard cadet base. Uh, the base actually is supposed to be longer. And the base is, it's kind of weird because most toilets have like, um, like a, like a, it protrudes here, like a protrusion. But this one doesn't have it at all. It's straight all the way back. Um, it's kind of interesting. And the trapway on this toilet, um, of all my designs are like this. Uh, it's huge. Um, it is, I think it's like five inches wide, if I remember. Let's see if, let's see if I can get the tape measure down there. This is also a square trap toilet. That's what I call them anyway, where the, the way it's built means that the actual inside of the trap is just, yeah, it's about five inches wide. So it has a massive trap weight, except for the bottom. The bottom is two and a half, the horn outlet is. But the rest of it, and let's see if you can see up there. Yeah, it's a square trap toilet. As you can see, the inside of the trap is actually square shaped. That's because of the way I built it. Um, uh, it's just uh, the whole inside is just like flaps and stuff, so it's all square throughout the whole entire thing. I'm gonna flip it over so you can see the bottom. Right, here's the underside. Um, the horn actually had to have a size reduction. Um, it's now two and a half inches. Well, it doesn't have a horn because uh, I would normally make a horn, but the, because of the way this, this is made out of plasticine, the whole base needs to be a solid piece of plasticine in order to support itself. So, um, otherwise it would just fall apart. But uh, it still fell apart regardless, but as you can see, this one, the seams are actually breaking. But um, the, the, the horn opening on the bottom is about, I think it's, Two and a half inches uh, compared to five on the top. Um, originally, this is supposed to have a, about a three inch outlet on the bottom. It's a trapway, is I believe three inches wide. So, but uh, that didn't work out because the toilet, because of it having kind of a weak flush because of the way the rim was designed, um, the way the rim came out, not the way it was designed. Uh, it wasn't making a siphon with the way it was, so I had to reduce the size of the horn to actually make it work. But it did take washcloths, and this is a standard size horn. All modern toilets have two and a half inch horns. So, I mean, this is acceptable, but it's not to design spec. 
Um, I'm actually not gonna cut open this toilet. I'm gonna keep the trap so that way I can make like put like jets and stuff like change. I'll, I'll make a new rim, and put it on top of this bowl, and also extend the front so it's not collapsing constantly. But um, that's what I'm gonna do for the next couple of toilets because these giant ones take forever to make. It took me, I think, three hours to make this. And that was just rough. Like, that was like, it wasn't even smoothed out or anything. I was just getting it to the point where it would actually work. And I've actually made this one twice. The first time I made it, um, I used my traditional method of making it. And I didn't, what I had to do to prevent the seams from breaking when you move this thing, I had to actually, when the sides were not a part of the toilet, I had to carve the design of the trap into the side and actually notch the piece of clay into the, the the notch that it carved in the side of the trap, which is this part, and then seal it with my finger, the plasticine. So it was not easy to make this thing at all. So that's why I'm going to keep the trap for as long as possible before I have to build a new one. Um, I'm kind of surprised it lasted for as long, because the first one I did, the trap delaminated when I was trying to flush it. And I, I was so I was so frustrated. I was I was angry, but um, it was it was this toilet that I was trying to make. But so um, anyway, that's it for this video. So if you haven't, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.